Our spotlight story tonight is about the Wilson Creek Harvest Festival that raised money for the school district. Reporter Jeff Chu joined in and has the story. Wilson Creek's annual Harvest Festival has a lot of things going on, including a parade, a fun run, games, and Future Farmers of America barbecue, plus live music. You have everything from tooting antique cars at the Main Street Parade to a cow pie plop and a band playing the hits in the community park. What's a cow pie plop? Well, it's like bingo, where people buy a square inside a fenced-off area with a calf grazing inside. Anywhere the little calf delivers his mark, so to speak, signifies a winner. Students and community leaders are a big part of the event. That's Wilson Creek School District Superintendent Mike Riggs beating the drums behind members of Columbia Basin based band, the Time Flyers. Wilson Creek Mayor Kathy Bonnett was telling people about the history showcased at Wilson Creek Museum in the historic bank building across the street from the park. Festival organizers say the event reflects the heart of Wilson Creek. Population a little more than 200, nestled between bluffs and grain silos about 27 miles east of Afreda. Lane Rebell, a Wilson Creek High School junior who helped organize the event, said the annual Wilson Creek Harvest Festival raises funds for the school district and other local interests, including the American Cancer Society. The barbecue proceeds are going to the F Wilson Creek FFA chapter. The parade, we don't charge anything, and we're just trying to build it up, make Wilson Creek bigger, make us be known so we can have our harvest fest. And most of the I know that the FBLA has nonprofit cancer society stuff going on, donations over there. Lane likes the parade the most, which is no surprise since he announced the entries. I like that everybody shows up and drives down the street and makes us look like Wilson Creek's known as not just some little place. Lane's mother, Kelly, who was a Wilson Creek City Councilwoman, also helped organize the event with Carol O'Callaghan, the school district's librarian and student body advisor. Kelly Rebell said the festival has been around for about 40 years and is a big part of the town's identity. It's been a, part of my, a huge part of my life. Kelly said just about everyone in town shows up for the festival. They all come out and participate, and Carol Callahan has really tried in the short time that school has started to get the kids excited about it. The event primarily raises funds for students in the FFA and future business leaders of America. Our FFA kids use it to go to nationals. Our FBLA kids use it to go to state and nationals. Graduating classes, they start um, earning money from their freshman year, so that their senior year, those kids have enough money where the entire class gets to go and spend a week of vacation. I'm Jeff Chu for I-Fiber One News. And we'll be right back after this.